Let's solve an applied problem using a rational function. And in this case, we're going to look at the revenue curve for a country where our, the economy of a country, where the revenue curve for the economy of a country is given by r of x equals x times 100 minus x all over x plus 20, where x is the tax rate in percent and r of x is the tax revenue in billions of dollars. And we're going to start here. And we're going to look at and interpret r of 10, r20, r30, r40, r50, r60. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in 10 which is going to give us 10 times 100 minus 10 over 10 plus 20. And from here on out, I'm going to skip a little bit because this becomes 10 times 90 over 30. 900 over 30, which is 30. So that's 30 billion. R of 20 is 20 times 80 over 40, which is 1,600 over 40, which is $40 billion. R of 30 is 30 times 70 over 50, which is 2100 over 50, which is 42. Notice it's not going up quite as fast. R of 40 is 40 times 60 over 60. Well, that's just in and of itself. That's only 40, because the 60s are going to divide out. R of 50 is 50 times 50 over 70, so 2,500 over 70. This one doesn't come out quite as nicely. So we get 250 divided by 7, which is 35.7. And R60 is 60 times 40 over 80. That leaves a 2. 60 divided by 2 is 30. So if our tax rate is at 10%, we'll make 30 billion. If it's at 20%, 40. At 30%, 42. At 40%, 40 again. At 50%, 35.7 billion. At 60%, 30 billion. So there's clearly a point where we want to set up and find our value. And so our next step is to sketch this. And notice that we have an asymptote at minus 20, and we have a 0 at 0 and at 100. So when I go to draw this, we get a 0 at 0, and then I'm going to do ten, tick marks of 10, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 100. And then we're going to go up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That should be enough, because 10 was 30. 20 was 40, 30 was about 42, 40 came back, I believe, 40 was at 40 as well, 50 was at about 35, and 60 was at, was it 30? Yep, and so we got a graph that did this, and then comes back down to there. So there's our sketch of our graph, something that looks roughly like that. Well, if we really wanted to see it, let's open up this graphing program, and we're going to let our f of x equal x times 100 minus x divided by x plus 20. And notice that actually got pretty close to what we were looking for. And so here's our graph. And it fits really close to what we hand graph, so we can be fairly confident that we've done our work correctly.